We've heard of many kidnappers among humans, but never thought of kidnapper ants. Wait, what? Well, that's an unthinkable truth. Every summer, blood red ants of the species Formica sanguina go on a mission to capture slaves. They infiltrate the nest of other ant species, assassinate the queen, and kidnap the eggs to raise the next generation of slaves. Once the slaves hatch in their new nest, they are unaware of what happened to them, dutifully gathering food and defending the colony as if it were their own. Scientists have long wondered how such slave-making behavior evolved. Now new evidence suggests that today's slave snatchers started out as a temporary parasites, as that laid their eggs in the nest of other species and then used those workers as a part-time caregivers of their own offspring. The red scout hands fan out and scour the forest floor. If one of them finds a suitable victim's nest, it dashes back to its home nest to rouse the kidnappers to prepare for a raid. As the assault begins, the kidnappers stream towards the victim's nest. It's an impressive sight. The stream of bright red ants can be hundreds, even thousands. The black ants seem to know what's coming. They rush to block the entrances to the nest with dirt, pebbles and tiny sticks. The kidnappers arrive and start digging. They excavate the blockage, peeling the debris outside the entrance hole. Black ants try to defend their nest, but they are overwhelmed by the sheer numbers of the raiders. Some of the black ants put up a fight, and some try to flee, but many seem to simply panic in the face of invasion. It doesn't take long for the kidnappers to break into the nest. Once they're inside, they go straight for the black ants' young. They target the black ants' pupae. Some of the pupae are still in their protective silken cocoons. The kidnappers hold the pupae in their long hooked jaws called mandibles. The mandibles seem perfectly shaped to grasp the helpless hostages without damaging them. The kidnappers scamper back to their home nest holding their stolen prizes high. As quickly as it started, their raid is over, but the story isn't done. Ants create their own order. Each nest has its own specific smell, which is a combination of chemicals made by the ants themselves mixed with those from their food and surroundings. Ants collect order in their glands located at the corner of their mouths. They are like tiny sacks full of chemicals that come from everything that ants come in contact with. When they groom themselves, they cover themselves in the colony's signature perfume. So when the raid hits, the young ants has no way to know it's been kidnapped. The kidnappers trick the stolen ant into thinking it belongs in this new nest by grooming it from top to bottom with chemicals stored in those glands. The young ants think they are home. It's a form of chemical brainwashing. That's why the kidnappers choose to steal pupae. When they arrive in their new home, the newly enslaved ants get to work maintaining the nest, caring for the young and even leaving the nest for food. The kidnapper ants completely rely on the captive ants to feed them. Their pointy curved jaws lack the serrations that would allow them to chew their own food. Without their slaves, the kidnappers would starve. In addition to any workers that die defending their nest from the invaders, the host species loses the next generations of its workers. Those that remain in the colony may struggle to get enough food to survive the winter, when they are snowed in and can't leave their nest for forage. While quite familiar with the red kidnapper ants, another species of kidnapper ant, instead of being entirely red-colored, it has red heads and thoraxes and black abdomens. The members of this red and black species have grinding mandibles and can feed themselves, but they still kidnap other species' pupae and raise them as workers in a similar way to the all red kidnapper ants. Well, you shouldn't be anywhere near their nests. These species don't sting, but are able to spray formic acid from their backside that can even cause minor chemical burns. The danger is mostly getting bitten many, many times and swarmed by very angry ants. They're doing a serious crime by kidnapping others' kids. There should be cop ants to stop them. I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned and check out all the interesting stories of why.